Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick Manorino, and I'm the superintendent of the North Hills School District. One of the most exciting parts of my job is being able to watch our students grow from timid kindergartners on their first day of school into confident seniors, prepared to take their first steps towards success at the college level, in the workplace, or in our nation's armed forces. Academically, our seniors are among the top students in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, and even the entire country. Artistically, they exhibit a wide variety of musical and theatrical talents. Athletically, across many sports, our student athletes are fixtures in WPIL playoff brackets and on all conference teams. From a volunteer service standpoint, our seniors go above and beyond to give back to those in need in our district and around the world. At North Hills, we often reference our strong history of pride, tradition, and excellence. And each week, we shine a spotlight on a senior who exhibits those character traits in our halls every day. This week, the senior spotlight shines on the president of the North Hills American Foreign Service Club, Monica Snyder. Monica is also a member of the French Club, the National French Honor Society, Literary Leaves Club, and the North Hills Academy for World Affairs and Academy for Arts and Communication. Outside of school, Monica serves as a church volunteer, is active in her church council, in Westview Borough Council, and in the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh. Let's take this opportunity to learn a little bit more about Monica as she is interviewed by our Spotlight host, Andrew Feltz. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Spotlight. I'm your host, Andrew Feltz, and with us today is our Senior of the Week, Monica Snyder. Monica, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So your senior year about five, six weeks in. Is it any different than you were expecting? Um, it's a lot busier than I originally thought, but it's, it's all good. Getting ready for college, especially a little stressful. A little stressful. Uh, have you had to fill out any applications yet for colleges? Uh, yeah, I've started applying to University of Kentucky, Chatham, and Swarthmore. So. Swarth, sw Swarthmore. Where's that at? Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Is it? Uh, sounded like a British college. Like Unfortunately, a, not. It's nah. liberal arts. All right. I mean, that's yeah. cool. So no cool British people. But I, <laughs> but I did have a tour at University of Pennsylvania from a cool British dude. From a cool British. Yeah. So was he from? He was from, from England. England. Yeah. Had a job at the University of Penn. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Were you able to understand him? Yeah, I could. He, right. he surprisingly spoke English very well. Hmm. Yeah, and right. I understood him because I speak fluent English. Oh, too. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah. So what would you say is probably the hardest class you have to take so far this year? Uh, hardest class would probably have to be AP English. It's a lot of work, a lot more than last year's AP English, but I still I still like it. still like it. So you, would you recommend it for people? Yes. Yes, well, uh, Mr. Howe, what do you think of Mr. Howe? Uh, Mr. Howe, he's a great guy. He's definitely a little tougher. He cracks a lot of jokes in class, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, he's, he's a great guy and he definitely helps us to succeed. Absolutely. Is there, a, is there any club that you're uh, involved with a lot here at the school? Yeah, I'm the president of the American Field Service, wow, which awesome. is AFS. Thank you. Um, and cool. we <laughs> we work with international and foreign exchange students, especially ESL, which is English Second Language, and they're kids who have moved here with their families and they don't really know anyone because obviously it's really scary to go to a new yeah. school, especially in a new country when you don't know the language, so we help to better integrate them. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a, is there a project you guys are involved in or taking part in this year? Yeah, so I also am a part of the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh, and I have to do a capstone project. So a big project that I'm starting with the AFS club is we're going to have a big event after school where we have all the ESL kids and kids from the language clubs in AFS, and we're going to have a big integration day. So you do that's icebreakers awesome. and fun stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Did you have to learn another language for taking part with these activities? Um, no. My mom is from Brazil, so I know Portuguese, English, and French. Say something in Portuguese. Okay. 
Uh, esse é muito legal. Andrew Felt está fazendo muito bom. E eu adoro North Hills. What, what, what does that mean? So I said, you are doing a great job. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, this is really cool and I love North Hills. All right, so wait, so let me try. Okay. What, what, how do I say that first part? Okay. Você. Você. Tá. Tá. Fazendo. Faz, fazendo. 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 Okay, wait, so two, one more time. Okay, você. Você. Fa, tá. Fa, tá. Fazendo. Fazendo. Muito. Muito. Bom. Bom. What did I just say? You said you are doing very well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So have you ever been to Brazil? I have been to Brazil four times. The last time I went was in March uh, for Easter and I got to stay with my grandma and aunt. Got to see my cousins. That's cool. And one of the highlights of the trip was going to meet a professional soccer team. Fuck. Wow, what was that like? It was really awesome. All the guys, they were like in their 20s, so they were pretty good looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they were. They're good. And then the coach, we got to talk to him because he spoke English. So he spoke to us and he played in the World Cup. And wow. I just freak out about soccer. So You big soccer fan? Oh, yeah. Did you watch it during the Olympics? Uh, yeah, when Brazil beat Germany, I was like exploding. Inside. Wait, so let me ask you this. And it, say any Olympic competition. Okay. If, you are, if it's USA versus Brazil. Brazil. You didn't even let me finish the question. <laughs> Definitely in Brazil. I'm sorry. Like when Carrie Walsh Jennings went down. I'm sorry. That was that was awesome. My sister and I stayed up and we were just cheering so hard for them. For Brazil to win. Oh, okay. For Brazil, yeah. Wow. So um that's cool. What did you think whenever Brazil won the uh, gold medal for the World Cup? Or not World Cup, excuse me, the Olympics. Um, I was super excited. I thought they definitely deserved it after the unspeakable Germany versus Brazil match in the World Cup, which never mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I was really happy for them and I thought they deserved it because Brazil hosted the Olympics, so they deserved the gold medal. So then say the US hosted the Olympics, would they deserve the gold medal then? <sighs> Hard. Um, okay, sure. Why sure. not? <laughs> Why not? I guess they could, but Neymar. Love Neymar. Okay. But yeah, sure. They can get a shot. So what are different activities that you do outside of school? Um, I'm involved a lot in my church. Uh, over the summer, I did vacation Bible school, and I was in charge of 22 little three- and four-year-olds. Sounds like fun. It's, it's fun. You definitely get a lot of stories. Out yeah. Of it. What's an interesting story from... Uh, from having to deal with the three and four year olds? Um, well, we do have a water day, and the one little boy, he had his swim trunks on, and he said, oh, can I take my shirt off? I was like, sure, you can do that. So I grabbed all their towels, and I turned around to put it on a rock, and then someone's like, Monica, Monica. I'm like, what? So I turned around, and the one's like completely undressing outside. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And he's like, but I, uh, I'm getting wet. I'm like, it's okay, it's not bath time. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely would not know how I'd react. <laughs> if a little three or four year old just, just started doing that, I'd probably run yeah. the other direction. But, yeah. Um, but they're fun. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty smart too, <laughs> which is good. That's cool. Um, is it easy or tough having to deal with them, would you say? There are good days and bad days. Uh, I really like being with them because I think they're a lot of fun and I love little kids, but then they're also trying days where their attention span is five minutes and an activity is 20. Yeah. So for the other, you know, 15 minutes, you have to become <laughs> the entertainment. So it's All hard. Right. Yeah. So Monica, this is your senior year of high school. What are your plans after it? I am going to college. I want to go either to University of Kentucky, Swarthmore, or Chatham for international and policy studies. So what's, what is that exactly? Um, international policy studies is when you have a job either in a government position or a nonprofit and you help bridge gaps between nations. You That's help cool. to make policies, you help to, you know, better integrate a business, something like that. So it's kind of like what you do with AFS except mm -hmm. on a business. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so you're uh, prepared. Well, Monica, yeah. thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank and now, you for having me. Cheers. This is Monica Snyder and I am Andrew Feltz with Spotlight. Have a great day.